Kansas City drops out of a partnership with Jackson County on their new jail. Kansas City Mayor Quinton Lucas announced that the city will not partner with the county on this new project. I'm Lauren Halifax. And I'm Kevin Barry. The county's current jail is at 13th and Cherry downtown. That's where we find Fox 4's Jonathan Ketz live to explain the other options that are on the table right now for the city. Jonathan. That's right, Kevin and Lauren. Community leaders for a long time have said this jail is overcrowded, which is why Jackson County, Missouri is building a jail east of here. But in the last day, we've learned that Kansas City, Missouri plans on building its own jail somewhere in these boundaries as well. It's on the eighth floor it used to be, and I think it's been gutted. Kansas City, Missouri leaders have ideas on where their new jail could go. You know, we're looking at maybe the eighth floor over here at the police station. We're looking at maybe in 2026, the annex over at uh, that they'll be getting. We caught up with council member Kevin O'Neill outside of City Hall Friday. Just a day before, Mayor Quinn Lucas tweeted a partnership with the county for their new jail at the old Hart Village Mobile Home Park, just west of I-70 and the 435 interchange off 40 highway would no longer be happening. I think it's disappointing for the community. Jackson County legislator Sean Smith says it may be more efficient for law enforcement if the city and county were working together. However, he says the county was never expecting Kansas City to help pay for this project. At least my group of legislators has always assumed we were doing an independent project and we want the city to collaborate with us if they want to co-locate and if and if they feel like that meets their needs is my my view. O'Neill says the city would need 200 to 300 beds, but Jackson County will need more. I don't want to spend 250 million, 300 million dollars on a new jail that maybe we don't have to spend. So I think we just need to do a little more research, take a breath, figure out how do we go forward uh, as a city. Now, if you watch Fox 4 News at 4, Smith also said that the city could build their new jail next to the counties. O'Neill, by the way, confirmed that the city does own some land near I-70 and I-435. But how could the city pay for their new jail? We have that part of the story coming up for you tonight on Fox 4 News at 6. We're live tonight downtown. I'm Jonathan Katz, Fox 4, working for you. <laughs>